And it's been another week. We are just a couple of days away from Christmas. Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus and the Brits celebrate the rebirth of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I think that's just great. They show Jurassic Park on Christmas on TV in England. Oh, T-Rex, why don't we love you as much in America? What I thought I would do today is one more tutorial. The most requested effects tutorial from episode six, smashing Craig's hand with the stick while he was wearing his protective glove shield. People wanted to know how we do that. It's just another simple compositing effect that just takes some time. Here's how it happens. First, you get yourself a Craig Benzine. They are not often found in the wild anymore. Most are domesticated, and you can find them in the vicinity of China. So you shoot Craig first. Craig stands there while I pretend to bludgeon his hand with a non-existent stick. Then Craig steps away, and I pick up a stick, and I bludgeon the spot where his hand was. In Final Cut Pro, you just take the two portions that you shot, and you line them up so that the timing works out between Craig's dialogue and the stick hits because there's a nice kind of timing to his lines and when I'm hitting him with the stick and the breaking and where I want it all to end. So you line it all up and then you export those and you take them into After Effects. Now, the one part we're not really gonna go over is the creation of the lightning glove because like Ryan Shield tutorial from a few weeks ago, it's just like a lot of layers and various effects, magnification effects, wiggle effects. It's just a lot of layers that I don't wanna go into the particular makings of. Then, it's essentially a simple split screen where Craig is on one half, and I've chopped it out, and then me and Sam are on the other half, chopped out. The only time I have to do the frame-by-frame -frame rotoscoping is when the stick crosses the split screen line into Craig's half. It doesn't take nearly as much time as trying to rotoscope complex objects. We were shooting at 24 frames per second, or 23,976, at a regular shutter speed, too. We were shooting at uh, probably 50, so that there is the motion blur of the stick. Make sure to kind of, when you're cutting it out, the edges of the stick will blur, because I'm moving really fast, because I'm super strong, obviously. Cut that motion blur, enough of that motion blur in, so that it doesn't look choppy. Then what you're gonna do is take a sparks effect. There are a bunch of sparks effects in the Action Essentials 2 prepackaged effects package that you can get from videocopilot.net. It was used for the building explosion too. It's got all sorts of pre-keyed effects in there. There's fire explosions, there's dust, there's debris, there's all this awesome stuff. And there's this whole sparks folder. I grabbed a bunch of sparks that I like the look of. I put them underneath the stick layer, but above the glove layer so that it would react as it would in the environment. There are a bunch of different blend modes in After Effects. When you're compositing, you can choose how a layer blends with the layer underneath it. And the best blend mode for this is a blend mode called Add. It's the same with muzzle flares. It makes it look like it's glowing, which is very cool and emphasizes the brightness. We've added these sparks. They look very nice. Let's pat ourselves on the back. Not yet. We must continue. There are two glowing layers, all right? The glove is constantly emitting light. So around the tree and on Craig's arm, I've added a, an adjustment layer with an exposure effect added to it, which just kind of brightens the whole thing with the blend mode of add. And I've added an expression, which randomly flickers the opacity of that brightness, okay? So that it looks like a flickering effect is coming from the glove. What else is gonna cast light? hitting the glove with a stick, great. So on every impact, I added another adjustment layer, another exposure effect, and then you trace out where that light is going to affect. So of course it would affect the tree trunk, it would affect my face and coat, it would affect Craig's face and coat, and then you just kind of do that for every stick impact. Put the highest brightness on the impact of the stick, faded that out, faded the opacity of it out over the course of maybe two frames so that it was like bright fade really quickly so that it would flash every time I hit him with the stick. Bang! Looks great. The only thing you have to do then is add the sound effects of it. Stick impacts, forest noises, and the shield impact noise, which has more of a boom, you know, to it. Good stuff. Let's take it back to last week's question. I asked you what you come to YouTube for other than vlogs, and I said I would be surprised if most people came for web series. Man, did you guys just smack me down on that one. So many people come to YouTube for web series. They come for the Guild, Space Janitors, Red vs. Blue, they come for uh, Christina Horner's web series, they come for Video Game High School, they, you know, like, a lot of web series were on the list. The other thing I learned is that people come for pretty much everything, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Trailers, skits, 
Everything I mentioned people came for and it was all over the board. There's some people just come for their subscriptions. A lot of variety of options, a lot of interests, which is great. This week's question is about holidays. It's about holiday movies because I watch movies all the time and we've been watching holiday movies because it's around the holidays. We watch Love Actually, which is outstanding, and it's about Christmas, and Love Actually is all around. And did you guys know that the little girl from the end of Love Actually who sings All I Want for Christmas is You, the little girl who the little boy thinks is heaven, is the voice of Marceline from Adventure Time? I don't know if you watch Adventure Time, but that blew our minds. It blew our minds right out of our heads. It was very messy. It was, it was, it, and it totally messed up the apartment. And we watched Christmas in Boston, starring Patrick J. Adams, an ABC Family original. If you guys like suits, Man, you should see Christmas in Boston. <laughs> Patrick would love that. And I would still like to watch Die Hard before the season is over because Die Hard's a Christmas movie. And while we were watching Love Actually, and Alan Rickman was kind of dancing around having that affair with his secretary, every time he was on screen and he looked at her with that kind of like suspicious, why are you hitting on me eyes, all I could hear in my head was, shoot the gloss. My question to you is what? is your favorite holiday movie. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite holiday movie? And I will see you next week for our 2012 year in review. Pops logo. Catches.